you were and you needed to lose weight and um but the thing is like fat shaming of any sort it tends to do the opposite because like so I, I have read this book called How Not to Diet by Dr. Michael Greger highly recommend um if you are just want to know anything about like weight loss or why people gain weight why there's an obesity epidemic any of that it's all like full of stats and fact based it's like 600 pages it's ridiculous but um, it's amazing and but they talked about it in there which is really good they said if you are like overweight or obese and you experience some type of fat shaming you're three times more likely to stay um at that weight than someone who is overweight and doesn't experience fat shaming so if the the sole goal of fat shaming which is awful um is to help someone to lose weight and get healthier it doesn't even work but most of the time that's not the reason why people fat shame it's just because we are just not used to society like seeing and accepting people of different body shapes and sizes it's just this facade that like oh it's for their health not really unfortunately people just suck to be honest oh and as well i just wrote some more notes from the book um said those who report more frequent fat prejudice experience higher levels of depression inflammation oxidative stress as well as shorter lifespans so like it kind of makes sense that like when you get comments about like your weight and how you look like negative ones that that could lead to binge eating disorder um it just like makes it worse so be kind people but um yes i think it's like those little seeds of doubt that just make things worse so then when i got back to australia then i got into the whole like fitspo weight loss my fitness pal calorie counting world and i did try like a lot of like fad diet type of things like i tried those like awful detox teas i'm so sorry if any of you have had to go through that they suck and it is awful um but i tried that just basically this like stupid like diet culture world and at that point i i didn't know what binge eating was binge eating disorder i'd never heard of it and you know i think over the years my weight like went up and down and fluctuated as i tried different like weight loss things and you know i would have periods where things were great and 
Just 
Yes, and you haven't shared.